it's about time. What's going on? Yo, yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Cardi B, her private jet had to make an emergency landing. You know how scary that can be. She was in Chicago. Now, they said somebody on board needed medical attention. It actually ended up being the pilot. The pilot had some serious stomach issues during the flight, so that's why there was an emergency landing. The plane was diverted to O'Hare due to a weather-related runway closure at Midway. Here's what Cardi had to say. I'm stuck in Chicago. We had to do an emergency landing in Chicago. Let me tell you something, Mo. I'm not taking no more Jets. I don't give a f- bro. These type of f- don't happen in f- Delta. Let me tell y'all Definitely something. Doesn't man. Happen in Delta. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all don't appreciate y'all pilots enough, okay? You don't get on the plane and say hello to your pilot. When you I walk off the do. plane, you don't say thank you for I flying. I definitely do. That is the person that you need to be being extra nice to and making sure they good. I thank the pilot all the time if they're standing there when you get off man, the plane. Man, sometimes if you can't peek your head in that little cockpit and say thank you, <laughs> all right? All right, now Paul Wall in the meantime had a See, bad car accident. What, what, what that got to do with anything? What? what, 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 what why y'all what, giggling? Why what, y'all giggling? What? Because I said peep my head in the cockpit. I, I didn't said, even no, hear you know it. I saying? wasn't even paying attention. Keep the cockpit to yourself. And you had a. That's so crazy, man. <laughs> and you had a deal. You're not supposed to be talking about. I wasn't. Okay. Now Paul Wall had a pretty bad car crash also. There were pictures posted online. And he said, the fact that we were all able to walk away intact is a miracle. I just wanted to share with you in case you need a reminder that God answered prayers. My son and I prayed for traveling, grace, and protection, and God answered our prayers. Today, my wife, Crystal, told me that when we got off the phone to tell her Will was coming with me, she had a vision of a car accident and immediately prayed for protection. God answered her prayers. So thankfully, there were no injuries, but it looked pretty bad. All right, little Mo, in the meantime, people are upset at her, and that's because of a post that she did about Queen Naja performing at the Soul Train Awards Cypher. Now, she went on Instagram, and she said, where shall I begin? She said, from what I've seen, Queen Naja is a very, very pretty girl. My daughters love her music as she will be their future, and when they look back, this is who is chosen to lead the millennials into what's new and next in music. I pray she beats all the odds, does numbers, and remains humble. She said, as for the Cypher, maybe the pregnancy is prohibiting singing from the bottom of her pants. Hit. Maybe she should have war cried or just sat this one out until her seasoning is to its fullest savor. I really don't know much about her besides what the blogs post, but I believe she can reach her fullest vocal potential outside of its mediocrity if she stays around vocal Bibles. Now, what am I missing? So here's the performance. I held you down for the longest. I was sent through all of your darkest moments. Feels just like yesterday when we were homeless. Got you some bread. Me I've heard way worse vocals than Queen Naja performed yesterday at the uh, or this weekend at the Soul Train. Awards. But you're not a singer. I'm not a singer, but I mean, I've never seen Lil Mo going on other people the not way she all. went on Queen Naja. Like it's like I mean, you got you know Rihanna wasn't the best vocalist at one point. Um, it's other people. You think she really went in because she did say some she nice go things in. first. You Sierra know, it was hasn't a, always it was, been the best vocalist. It was a little shade, but it wasn't like she went in on her. She was saying her kids love her, and, mm-hmm. you know, she seems beautiful. She doesn't know as much about her, but she felt like maybe she's pregnant and she's not at to her full potential. I, just, I don't know. I just, I, I, Cassie hasn't always been the best vocalist. I just didn't hear Queen Naja be terrible in order to get, get that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All right. Now, Drake and Stefan Don, in the meantime, were photographed out together in Miami. They could have just been having a meal. Maybe they're working on something together. But the reason why people care so much is because Stefan Don was on Instagram Live and Drake hopped in. So why should you be my man then? Because, you know what I'm saying? I'm a confident guy. I can hold my own in any room, you know? <laughs> um, and, you know, we get, we get, we get cook up tune together in a stool. You know what I'm saying? You win a date with me right now. Oh yeah? So where you wanna go? So you wanna go you wanna go somewhere fancy and all uh. that? Huh? <laughs> Big money stuff. You and um, Charlemagne and Drake have the same Jamaican accent. <laughs> <You're> horrible. <laughs> you want to cook up chewing in the stew. <laughs> All right, Sound in the meantime. Sounds tasty to me. <laughs> it's actually just making music in the studio. Oh, I thought that had something to do with <laughs> We know that's what you chicken or something. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the meantime, Drake also has shown his mansion that he's building in Toronto. Oh, that crib is amazing. Did you see no, how that's, amazing? That's that crib is can't amazing. can't even hate that's on that. That's hard. That's hard. I'm renovating my house right now. I had to change some things. Aubrey Graham High School is open for business. He gave me a lot of ideas. He, his crib is amazing. He well, paid $4 million for that crib. I'm sorry, I got you. The estate is uh, 35,000 square feet. Oh, amazing. 
It has a 10-car garage, mm-hmm. two saunas, a gym, a mm-hmm. screening room, a basketball court, an elevator. Full yes, he did purchase court. it for four million dollars, but with all the improvements, obviously he's spending a lot on that as well. So Amazing. sound like he's ready to have a family. Yeah, I mean, listen, just the master suite alone is 941 square feet. That's crazy. Just the master suite. Some people's apartments aren't even that big. And it's in his hometown of Toronto. Toronto. That's the, hey, man. That's why I, I love he's... being from South Carolina because the cost of living down there is cheap. Well, wait until that whole thing is ready. It's going to be amazing. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. 